All right, guys, welcome to a new little series I got going on. It's Connected Franchise, playing with a couple of buddies, um, the Italian and one of my other good friends, Epic is Legend. Uh, we both have the, or we all have the Xbox One, potentially going to get another another one of our friends in here to play. Um, right now we're doing a private online dynasty. Potentially, if you have an Xbox One and Madden 25, we might see if we can get some of you guys to come play with us. That's to keep it a little bit more interesting. But as of right now, this is where we're sitting. I went with the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, buddy. My my guy, I'm my owner. Um, so I get a whole bunch of other cool things I can mess with. And my guy's name is Hank Coppertop. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> no stopping the Coppertop. Uh, Italian, he went with Seattle. Deuce Bourbon. He's a, he's a new owner there. Um, some of the cool features about this I do like. Um, they have all these different things you can do. Like as a, as an owner, you have media statements and goals. Um, and then you can check your top stories. You can do my stories, all the stories. And then you can go through just that with the right stick. Or you can hit the right stick down or up. And you can see like the Twitter essentially um, different things that they have on there. So that's, uh, that's where we're sitting. That's what we're doing. We're about to advance it into the next, actually to the start of the league. Um, yeah, and this is some of the other things you could do. You can, as an owner, you can set prices. You can renovate your stadium, upgrade your stadium. You can relocate if you wanted to. Um, you could check and see how your team's doing, how your staff's doing, um, how you sell, how much you sell everything for price-wise. Um, you can do everything the coach can do, which is like uh, set the depth chart, uh, pay pilot players, and and all that. Um, you can also improve, which you can sign free agents and the trade stuff, which you can't do until we start the dynasty. I, I'm going to call it a dynasty. It sounds weird as a connected franchise. Or you can upgrade players, which is pretty neat. You earn XP per game and through practice that you can level up your players with, which is pretty neat. And that's uh, that's where we're that's where we're sitting. So we're gonna advance it real quick, get this thing actually actually going, and we'll probably be back with preseason week one. I might show a couple of highlights there and then show show what everybody else did, kind of like we do with the online dynasty, just to. Just to give it a little a little bit of a flair, a little bit of something different from NCAA. So we're going to advance it, and we'll see you guys later. All right, just got done with the advance officially in preseason week one. Uh, I, might, I might show all these. I don't, I'm not sure yet. I'm uh, playing against the Colts to start the season. We're playing on all pro just because we've all played NCAA for quite a bit. And all pro is pretty, pretty challenging at least. Um, not all Madden because I haven't played Madden in a couple of years. But uh, just something a little different. And every time you something advances, uh, every week the news changes, which is kind of cool. Um, actions. This is what this is what I get to do. Uh, I get I got to cut two players <laughs> from my from my roster. You can practice, um, which is if you win you get two thousand points or XP. If you lose you get a thousand XP. Play your game is your meteor question. Trading block right end. Um, I don't think I want to trade. I, I could use that. I could use that for sure, but I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> so we're gonna answer this meteor question real quick. See what he says. Well noted that you were a fan of this team. Yes, I was a fan of this team. That said, there's some concern um, that you might you think be it's gonna be emotional or too, too emotional. To um, I'm always gonna be a fan first, so that job. means I'm always gonna be looking to out for the fans. I would simply say, if we're winning, no one is gonna be concerned about how I'm running the team. I'm going to say it's my franchise, so I'll run it how I want. <laughs> I'm going to actually go with this middle one because that's more than likely more of a realistic answer. If, you, if you're winning, nobody's going to really care how you're running the team. If you're losing, then yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go with this and team popularity. So if we win, if we have a winning season, it goes up 10%. If we have a losing season, it goes down 15%. So as long as we're over 500, that's a plus in my book, <laughs> which we should be. But that's where we're sitting, so at the end of the season we'll be able to like, reap those rewards. I do have to cut some people real quick. Let's see, i got to cut two people. You can do it yourself, or you can let the computer slash staff do it for you, which I'm going to do it myself, just because I want to see what all I have available. Quarterback-wise, yeah, I'm keeping all those. Running back-wise, um, Zach Brand. I might I might let that guy go, because I'm... I'm I'm pretty pretty good with CJ Spiller and Fred Jackson and Tashard Choice is a good third back. So it'll probably be Brown more than likely. I don't think I want two fullbacks. I really don't. Wide receivers. Holy crap. 
two, three, four, five, six. So anything after this is just taking up space. So sorry, DeMarco Sampson. Uh, you're gone. Confirm. Let's see. You were freed. Oh, I actually cost me money. <laughs> Dang it. Take him, young guys. I mean, look at that. I got two rookies that are. Oh, Lord. I got a lot of rookies. My gosh. Marcus Easley, is it going to cost me? Free up 500000 in the cap room? Yeah, buddy. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I got rid of those two. So that frees me up until, what is it, next week where I got to get rid of some more people? Yeah, and I got a lot of tight ends too. So I got to make that adjustment. So my recruiting, or maybe <laughs> playing NCAA for so long. So my cut's done, ready for that trade block. I might look a little bit more, more into that and see what's going on. But practice, I still got to do. Then I'll probably show some highlights from the preseason game. And hopefully, hopefully we don't get destroyed by the Colts. I'm looking looking forward to not getting beat by them. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to I wanna do good this season, man. I want to I wanna do real good. So we're going to cut it, and then we'll be, we'll be back. All right, um, not a whole lot has changed. Uh, I did get rid of uh, some players, did my cuts. I uh, went ahead and did my practice. I failed it. It's only got 1,000 XP. We got the preseason game, and then we got to advance it. So going to get our game going on, play against the, whoop, play against the Colts in Indianapolis. So no, no changes for me money-wise. <laughs> That'll be probably next game. But here we go, get this game underway. So I think it always takes off. Like It always puts the play clock down 20 seconds regardless. I saw that tight end. I saw that safety coming up for the blitz. I was looking at my tight end the whole way. <laughs> whole way. Hey, we get to run the football, I think. The first run and play that the game's called. Following the game plan, though. Yeah, I'm going to stick with it. Thought about audible and out of that. Oh, ho, ho. Guy went out there and got the block. And it's not quite enough there. Not quite enough. We get inside the 10 and we start running the football. We're throwing the football the whole time. Make up your mind, man. Oh, we got the touchdown. Untouched that way, CJ. Worked right down the field. Look at this. Uh, uh, jump around. Jump around. What the heck, man? Halfback toss. Well, let's see what Fred Jackson gets to do. He's the backup. He'll play most of the second half anyways. Our second quarter. What? We'll toss it. We got the block. Oh, good blocks. Uh, good run. Good run. 20-yard run, Fred Jackson. This will kid at them will return soon. Um, I'm not going to risk it. I want to have him later in the season. So I'm making an executive call right now. I don't want you to get super injured. Figures hitting some good field goals. Yeah, Harnish. I'm pretty sure it's the dude from Northern Illinois. Uh, before Lynch. Man, so right at the half, we get the lead 10-6. to six. Not too bad. Not too bad for preseason. And halftime's really simple. This is it. That's all it is. This is it. That's halftime. Nothing special. That's it. Halftime. Oh, a read option. What? They're actually giving us a read option? Of wow. See how this goes. Read it right because I play NCAA. Oh. Pot. Oh, toss money. Oh, my gosh. 77. Laying the boom downfield. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Freddy. Okay, it is preseason. You're playing against a lot of the backups, but still. Oh, fumble. That was, a, that was a hit stick fumble right there. Go, Williams, go. Go, Williams, go. Go, Williams, go. Go, Williams, go. That's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. Dang right. Ensuing kickoff. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thumbnail right there. So that's, that's pretty nice because NCAA seven-minute quarters take like an hour and a half. Going deep. Come on, Brooks. You need this pick. Oh, makes me look silly. Went for the pick. Should just let the computer handle it. Yeah, I already did that. Stop copying my, my touchdown celebration. Show blitz. Go back to bump and run. Oh, play action. Absolutely fooled that guy. Oh, good catch. Good catch. Jam cover one. Let's jam him then. Is that hot, 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 hot? No margin for error from just outside the goal yep. line. Yep. Nice little slant route. Touchdown. Hey, uh. Play that guitar. 
Smash it. But we did it. Oh my gosh. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. We don't want to give him the short route, but we'll do it anyways. Bring the pressure. Throws it deep. Use your pick. Use your pick. Step on the sideline. That's what I'm talking about. Didn't burn me this time, did you? I guess I did that on purpose. We'll test it again here in just a second after we kneel it. See if it does it. All right, so knee, we got 40 seconds. So it's about eight second difference. QB kneel. Yeah, no time off the clock on special teams. That's nice to know. Or at least on the quarterback kneel. But we're going to come out and get our win. First game of the season, preseason game. Backups did pretty good. Starters drove down, scored off the get go, and threw a stupid pass. Other than that, we did we had a pretty good game, man. Pretty good game. Beating the Colt at home. That helps. Yeah, buddy. Give me that kneel. <laughs> Cobb gets the win. Yeah. That way, buddy. Good game to watch indeed. I guess it just shows the home team all the time. I don't know. He's win 24 for 19. Hank Coppertop showing showing what's up as a GM. First game gets the win. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. This is a big step. Pat player of the game, Mo Mario Williams. Mario. Why well, I say Mario? It's Mario. Freaking Michael from Rooster Teeth says Mario. Irritates me. But that's where he's from. That's what they say. So I'm from down south. It probably irritates me. I say Mario. <laughs> so it's one of those things, man. Golly. 182 passing yards, 68 rushing yards, two takeaways. Not a bad game. Not a bad game. I do kind of like this. You can see the player stats right off the get go. Uh, Matt Hasselback tore me up. Kevin Cobb, not so much. Scoring summary, stuff like that. Let's see, I've actually never gone into this. Oh, you can see both, both players. Manual, four for 69 yards. Six completion. Each threw a pick. So, no, <laughs> no good thing for me. Receiving or rushing. CJ Spiller didn't have a whole lot of carries, but he didn't, he didn't have a choice. Receiving the ball. How many drops did I have? That I want to look at. Rogers had one. He's a rookie. Goodwin had one. He's a rookie. Spiller had two. Woods had one. He's a rookie. All my rookies, man. Lee Smith had one. Come on. Oh, that's my tight end. My tight end tore it up, though. So that's pretty cool. We'll finish the game. The other two guys are ready to advance. Like I said, we, we all know each other in real life, so they just sent me a text message saying, hey, I'm good to go. It's not really a way that I found that lets you know they're ready like the NCAA without going into the settings and then look at the users and all that which I would love for them to be able to put that in there and, and be able to say hey everybody's ready to advance like right there it should be like everybody's ready to advance but the only way you can do it is if you go to settings just in case you want to know user teams and you can see they are ready and ready so they're good to go. They're ready to advance. So we're going to go ahead and advance it real quick and see who we play week two. All right, week two, we play Minnesota Vikings at home. We can see if we can actually earn some money here. Let's see. Cross the nation. Let's see what happened. Um, anything? Anything good? Jaguars had some depth. Uh, Kendall Tompkins. Come on now. Nothing. Nothing really. Huh. My stories. Just me. Oh, it's just whenever I took over. All. Oh. oh, winning silence all. Yeah. Yeah, if we win, we're, we're good. We're good. Yeah, this is what we got to do. Um, this guy's on the traded block. Don't want him. I just traded for somebody so I can ignore that. Um, defensive tackle, 82 overall. We might look into that, see what we could do. Yeah, the the prices and all that, it affected me because I didn't have a home game. My funds dropped considerably because I didn't have a home game. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't do that again. My gosh, dropped like crazy. We we're sitting pretty good. But that's going to be it for, for this episode. Um, I'm not sure how often we'll be putting these up because we're going to advance it pretty much when we're ready. Or there's only three of us, so... Not a big deal there, but I'll try to keep you guys updated on what's going on. That's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all 
next time.